Section 45. Commercial List. Under Section 45 of the aforesaid rule, a document is commercial list if, first, the commercial list is a statement of matters of interest to person engaged in an occupation. Second, such a statement is contained in a list, registered, periodical, or other published compilation. Third, said compilation is published for the use of person engaged in that occupation. And last, it is generally used and relied upon by a person in the same occupation. For example, the NEDA reports, part of the newspaper which reports the price of shares, mortality tables like Carlisle or Wiggleworth tables, accepted a crucial and annuity tables. Section 46. Learn Treaties. Legal rule establishing a published a published published text as authoritative either by expert testimony or by judicial notice, and is thus admissible as an exception to the hearsay rule. When learned treaties are admissible, learned treaties are admissible in evidence if the court takes judicial notice thereof or the same are testified to by witness expert in the subject. Re requisites for admissibility. First, published treatise, periodical, or pamphlet is on subject of history, law, science, or art, and court takes judicial notice of it, or witness expert in the subject testifies that the writer of the statement is the treatise, periodical, or pamphlet is recognized in his profession or calling expert as in the subject. Section 47. Testimony of deposition at a former proceeding. Requisite for admissibility. In order to be admissible, as an excep exemption to the hearsay evidence rule, this section requires that the witness is dead or unable to testify. Second, his testimony or deposition was given in a former case or proceeding, judicial or administrative between the same parties or those rep representing the same interests. The former case involved the same subject as in the present case, although on different cause of action. Fourth, the issue testified to by the witness in the former trial is the same issue involved in the present case. Last, the adverse party had the opportunity to cross-examine the witness in the former case. Question. Why is the testimony or deposition taken at the former trial or proceeding admissible? The reason for the admissibility of testimony or deposition taken at the former trial or proceeding are the necessity for the testimony and trustworthiness inasmuch as the former witness could no longer testify. His former testimony is admitted to prevent failure of justice. Section 48 General, general, general rule, the opinion of, of witness is not admissible except as indicated in the following section. Is question, is the opinion of the witness admissible in evidence? From the general rule, no, the opinion of the witness is not admissible. For that reason, the opinion of the witness has no relevance to the case. When is... When is opinion of a witness it is admissible? The opinion of a witness is admissible if, on a matter requiring special knowledge, skill, experience, or training, which he is shown to possess, that is, when he is expert thereon, regarding the identity of, of a person about whom he has adequate knowledge, regarding the handwriting of the person with he has sufficient familiarity, or when he is an expert witness. On the mental sanity of a person with whom he is sufficiently acquainted, or if latter is an expert witness, because chance are, if one knows the person very well, he will be the first one to detect some change in a person. Witness need not to be expert in psychiatry. On the, emo on the emotion, behavior, condition, or appearance of a person which he has observed, 
on ordinary matters known to all men of common perception such as such as the value of ordinary household articles. Section 49. Opinion of Expert Witness. The witness may also testify on his impression of the emotion, behavior, condition, or appearance of a person. When is an expert evidence is admissible? Uh, expert evidence is admissab admissible only when, when the fact to be proved is recurring expert knowledge or the witness has been qualified as an expert question is the use of opinion of an expert witness mandatory on the part of the court on the section 49 rule 130 of the revised rules of court states that the opinion of a witness on a matter requiring special knowledge skill experience or training which he is shown to possess may he receive in evidence. The use of the word may signifies that the use of opinion of an expert witness is permissive and not mandatory on the part of the court. Section 50. Opinion of Ordinary Witness When may an unexpert witness give his opinion? Under the Section 50 of the Rules of the Court, an unexpert witness may give his opinion regarding the identity of a person about whom he has adequate knowledge, a handwriting with which he has sufficient familiarity, the mental sanity of a person with whom he is sufficiently acquainted. The witness may also testify on his impression of the emotion, behavior, condition, or appearance of a person. When opinion of a witness is admissible, first, on a matter requiring special knowledge, skill, experience, or training, which he is shown to possess that is when he is expert thereon, regarding the identity of a person about whom he is adequate knowledge, regarding the handwriting of a person with which he has sufficient familiarity, or when he is an expert witness. The law, the law allows that an ordinary witness identify the signature of somebody. One does not have to be an expert, but he has to establish familiarity with the signature. On the mental sanity of a person with whom he is sufficient and quitted, or if the latter is an expert witness, because chances are, if one knows the person very well, he will be the first one to detect some change in the person witness need to be ex expert in psychiatry on the emotion emotion behavior condition or appearance of a person which he has observed or on ordinary matters known all the men of common perception such as the value of ordinary household articles expert evidence is admissible only when the fact to be proved in war requiring ex expert knowledge the witness has been qualified as an expert qualifying the witness qualifying the witness it is it means provide proving that the witness is presented is an expert and he's done by asking him pre preliminary question as to his education training experience and the like Expert opinions are not ordinary conclusive in the sense that they must be accepted as a true on the subject of their testimony but are generally regarded as purely advisory. The court may place whatever weight they, they choose upon such testimony and may reject if, it, if they find that it is inconsistent with the fact in the case or otherwise. And read, and read